Hey guys, Ray again. This is project updates number two. And the first project I'm going to update you on is this. The vertical lathe build. Yes, uh, I'm going to be coming out with the latest video probably on Thursday. It's hard to tell right now. I'm waiting on some parts to come in. But it should be out by Thursday. As you can see, the arm is mounted. Yes, my I call it an arm, but it is the power feeder stand, which is going to be the live tooling holder. Yes, I'm going to use a router. I covered that in the previous video. Uh, videos uh, we're going to use a router as a live tool on the vertical lathe it should be pretty interesting i'm waiting on some parts now you may recall from the last video that i needed to repair the pinion i'm going to give you a closer look on that pinion you can see that it has about four teeth left out of 12. they clearly destroyed this pinion i was able to determine not from any markings on this arm on this stand but by taking some measurements, and you may recognize this color. This is the old grizzly green. New grizzly green is not this color, but the old grizzly green is. And I was able to determine from some of the other measurements on this stand that this is a grizzly power feeder, the largest one they make for the one horsepower feeder unit. So they still make this pinion. And it's only $7. Now, I cannot make this for seven dollars I am about 90 percent confident that the that the part that I've ordered and I've already ordered it and it should be in this week is in fact the correct part now the reason I'm only 90 percent confident is because <clears throat> the part number has been superseded sometimes when that happens you can have a few differences I don't know what they're gonna be so my hopes are high but if it's close I can always modify it to fit now everything else on these everything else on the power feeders seemed still up to date uh, there's a few differences in some of the castings and hand wheels but otherwise everything's the same and I'm hoping that their change was only in nomenclature the next project I'd like to update you on is my South Bend bowl turning lathe there is a lathe project that I started at the beginning of the year before I had a YouTube channel so I had to put this other project back here in the new building because I was running out of room in the main shop. So here we are. Now some of you may recognize this. See it says South Bend right on it. This is part of a metal working lathe. Um, for reference, I'm going to put my hand down here. You can see the size of this base. And over here, you can see the size of the handle. Okay, so down here is the jack shaft. Let me get on this side. Down there is the jack shaft. Uh, the motor uh, pulley gets connected on this side with four belts. And then the flat belts go to the headstock. The headstock is right here. So what happened is this, oh, and, and this is the bed. So the bed is actually in two pieces now. That is the piece where the headstock gets bolted. And that is the piece that I cut off. What happened is that that was all the bed. Someone took an old South Bend lathe and cut the bed off. I suspect they broke the lathe, they damaged it, and then they cut the bed off and used it as a polishing lathe. That is the old motor. When I started this project, uh, probably about the beginning of the year, I did not have a YouTube channel. So I didn't record any of the uh, disassembly, but I will put a picture of it here of what it looked like when I received it. And as you can see, it was, uh, it was not in too good a shape. So I've taken it apart. Uh, cut the bed off that bed was attached right here milled it flat and added some holes the holes in the corner that's going to be to bolt on a plate to make any adapters I might need so uh, let's take a look here at the spindle the spindle you can see my hand is two and three eighths it is quite a sizable spindle this is probably going to be my next lathe after I finish the vertical lathe should be an interesting project. This is also going to be for wood turning. So it is modifying a wood, a metal working lathe for wood turning. 
I'm going to replace that motor. Uh, and because of the reductions, you'll see that this motor is actually not that big. One and a half horses. Now it's an old motor, it's three phase. You can hear it sounds kind of rough. It still runs, but it's very rough. It's also very old, so putting an inverter on it might actually end up killing it. So to make life easier, I'm going to replace the motor with a single phase motor. Probably a two horse is all I'll need. Uh, single phase, that way I can put it anywhere I need it. It won't be a big deal. And um, I already have chuck for it. I have several face plates. So I think I'm going to clean it up real good, give it a paint, put it back together. Everything inside seems to be in good shape. The uh, You can see there, that is in actually very good shape. There's no play in the shaft. I've already checked out the headstock. The headstock's in great shape. If I open the, uh, open the headstock, you'll be able to see. There it is. Now it's got a little surface rust because it's been out here in the, uh, in the main building since we finished uh, close, closing it up. So I'm going to clean it up, paint it, get a new motor for it, and set it up for wood turning. Should be pretty interesting. And the last project I'd like to discuss is this one right here. A mystery box. Now, obviously this is an ammo can. It's not that much of a mystery box. But what's in it, I am not going to share with you just yet. Uh, it's something that I need for testing. It's going to be a piece of test equipment. And I've got something inside here so far. I've got zero dollars in this. I did, however, have to buy these little guys right here. And um, I'm going to let your imagination run wild how these things go together until I work on that project. I should be working on this in about a month or so, maybe sooner, I'm not sure. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let me know whether you liked this video or absolutely hated it.